Okay, we're gonna run you through a quick camber and baton setup for all the camber sails, including Sunray, Vector, and GSR. So your cambers do, do some amazing things. Cambers keep the profile on the sail, and so does the baton tension. The batons are designed to suit the sail and create the, the right profile that you want for the best performance. But it can also kill some of the easy use. For example, having too much camber pressure can limit the rotation of the sail. But too little camber pressure will give you a sail that maybe is less stable and less responsive. So you want to be in the range that you want to be at. However, if you're having issues with the jibe and rotation, rotating the sail, you can reduce the camber pressure. When you feel like you have the power to rotate the sail with a bit more camber pressure, you can take the advantage of having a more stable sail by using more camber pressure. So on this sail, obviously we're not on the water right now, but I'm just gonna rotate it on the beach. On this sail, we have some over tensioning, especially of this camber. So the rotation, for example, as you can see, is not very easy, and this cam doesn't really wanna rotate. So you need to kind of push it through. Not really ideal. So rotate it back. Okay, now I, did, I got a nice little swing and a little gust, so now it, it snapped all the way through. So even with a lot of camber pressure, you can rotate it all the way through and you'll get more stability, but for the ease of use, it's not ideal. So I'll show you now how to reduce the camber pressure. And also how to check the camber pressure, which is a very important part of tuning the cambers. You simply put your thumbs on top of the mast and your fingers under the cam. So the cam's right here, as you can hear. So put your fingers under and you push it up. If this, like on this cam, is very stiff, to do, it means there is an over tensioning of the camber. For example, this camber right here is a little bit looser and a lot easier to do. So right here we have about the right tension. This is pretty easy to move, where right here the camber is pretty tight and it takes me a lot of force to just snap it in and out of its position. Meaning when I reduce some tension on this one. Sometimes when you reduce the tension on one camber, the other cambers will start carrying a little bit more tension. So after changing your camber tension, you should check all your cambers one more time to make sure you have the right um, feel on all the cambers. Usually this one's the, the loosest, this one's the tightest, and this one's medium for a good rotation. So don't put too much pressure right here because it will affect the leech of the sail. Put good tension here because it will give you stability. And don't put too much tension here because it will, it will uh, uh, hinder your rotation. So, changing the camber tension, we're going to have to derig the whole sail. On your gun sail sail bag, there's a clear little pocket. And you may have wondered what these little things are there for. So, in this pocket we have your bed and tension key, which bed and tension is something we're going to get to in a minute, so I can take this out. There's a few extra of these screws, which are the screws that are in your ITB. Your ITB is your uh, baton tensioners. Sometimes if you don't carry much tension, they can vibrate out, for example, while driving the car. So there's a few extra ones in there. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does happen, we supply you with some extra screws so you can keep using your sail. And there's these little black things. These black things come in two sizes. There is a five mil one and there is a two mil one. So, where do these go? That's the question. You open the zipper, we simply pull the cam out, it's very easy. And then right here between the sail body and the cam is this little plastic block. So the cam comes off, very easily slides off. And then this little block. So we can either take this whole block out if you have way too much tension or in this case, I only want to reduce the tension by a little bit, so I'm going to put a little block in there. So, we put that in there. This, by the way, shows that the baton tension is completely separate from the cam tension. Because the baton sits in an individual pocket that stops here, so the baton tension carries from right here to the back of the sail. Where the cam tension actually pushes off the front of the sail body, which is supported by the downhill tension get spaced out with these little spaces, either a big one or a small one. Sometimes if the camera is very loose, you may have to use two thick ones. However, you get the right cam pressure and the camera then pushes on the mast. So this goes to show that the camber pressure and the baton pressure by, at gun sails is a completely separate tension. Putting the cam, so sliding the cam back over, putting it back inside the sleeve. Now we're ready to re-rig the sail and check if the cam tension is right. Tip, 
when you change your camera tension, also make sure that you have enough batten tension on the sail before you have the mast inside the sail. Once the sail is rigged, your camber pressure, your batten pressure gets a little bit of resistance from the camber pressure, so you want to tension your battens before re-rigging the sail to make sure that your change comes out the way you intended it to be. So, on the bottom three battens we can simply apply plenty of pressure. If after rigging it shows that it's too much, too much, you can easily back it off a little bit. That's not a big deal. So now that we put some tension, we're going to re-rig the sail. So now even without having the boom on the sail, we can quickly do a pre-check, just in case you need to derig again, then you don't need to take the boom off first. We can do a pre-check, just like this. As you can see, the tension became quite a lot, quite a bit less. Now it's relatively easy for me to move it, and we've got a sufficient amount of tension on this one. Since we only changed this cam, as I said before, I also recommend now that after changing this cam, you check the other cams, because sometimes the pressure could have increased a little bit. Well, it doesn't seem to be the case on this button, and doesn't seem to be the case on this button. We still have sufficient tension right there and we're ready to continue rigging the sail and going and using it. Now that we have the right cam tension, we should check our batten tension because the first thing we want to do is set our cam tension with sufficient amount of batten tension. And after we set the cam tension, we're going to check the batten tension to make sure that we're still in the range that we want to be at. So, for the batten tension, the basic rule is we want to have maximum pressure on these two battens because here we want to have profile and stability. Here we already want to have a little bit less. But when I say maximum tension, I don't mean cranking it, you know, like the, the, it's a sail that's made of cloth. Obviously we don't want to just be cranking it like crazy, but pretty much, you know, all the wrinkles are out. The sail is looking really clean. There's a good profile on the sail and it's not overly tight. If I over tighten the batten, for example, I can show you on this one relatively easily. It will look something like this. You'll start to get a really deep point along the batten here. You'll start to see these little marks coming right off the back of the batten, which shows that you're excessively stretching the sail to the point where you're not getting a benefit in performance and also it may damage your sail. So be careful not to over tension your battens, but do feel free to put a good amount of tension, especially on the bottom two battens. This one gets a medium amount of tension. This one gets a little bit of tension, just enough to clear out the wrinkles. And these top three battens get a pretty minimal amount of tension. You don't want to have too much draft up here because it's going to affect the handling of your sail. It's going to make the sail a little bit unstable. It could make it top heavy, which is not what you want. You want to have the sail to just be flat here. So the battens are just in the sail to keep it flat, to give a nice clean twist, giving you the most acceleration. So right now with the sail set up nicely, let's try and give it another rotation on the beach. Quickly check, make sure that the leech is really nice and clean. The batten tension seems to be running down nicely, progressively, keeping the whole leech nice and tight in the bottom here and progressively opening more towards the top. And also the rotation now should be a little easier because especially because this cam has been eased off a little bit, so we should be able to rotate. You see that thing just snapped right into place. No drama, no issues. So setting your cam tension, just a reminder, more cam tension will affect your rotation in a negative way, but will give you more stability. Less cam tension will give you less stability, but easier rotation. That pretty much sums it up.